So, you're looking for a new set of wheels, and you think to yourself, how are wheels made? Well, you're in luck, because in today's video, we'll be going over exactly how cast wheels are made. But first, let's talk about a new and easy way to buy wheels. We now offer one-click wheel and tire packages at SD Wheel. Just enter your year, make, and model, and you can buy wheel and tire packages in as little as one click. We also offer package savings and guaranteed delivery dates on select one-click packages. The first step in the wheel making process is melting down the aluminum that will be used to create the wheel. To do this, the aluminum alloy must be heated to over 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Once molten, the aluminum will be poured into a mixer where various elements will be added to help remove any impurities in the metal. Next, the molten aluminum is poured into the mold in one of two ways. With gravity cast wheels, the metal is poured in from the top using gravity to pull the aluminum down into the mold. On the other hand, low pressure cast wheels have the molten aluminum pushed into the mold from a pressurized furnace. The mold will remain pressurized until the metal is cooled. This process typically results in fewer defects and a stronger wheel. From here, the wheel will be submerged in a tank of water until it's cool enough to handle. Once cooled, the freshly cast wheel will be hung on a rack and sent to an oven for a heat treating process that can take over 12 hours. While being heated, the molecular structure of the wheel will change, leaving them stronger than they were before the heat treat. Once out of the oven, the wheels are once again submerged in water. Once removed, they go back into the oven, this time at a lower temperature for the final step in the heat treating process. Now that the wheels are properly heat treated, all of the rough edges must be removed. This is mainly done using a CNC machine, but some surfaces will be deburred by hand as well. Once the machining process is complete, the wheels must pass a quality assurance test that checks everything from the roundness of the wheel to the strength. If the wheel passes a quality test, it will then be sent to the paint booth. Inside the paint booth, several layers of paint will be applied before the wheels are finished with a clear coat that protects the paint. Once the paint has fully dried, the wheels will have to pass a visual inspection to ensure there are no cosmetic issues. After the wheel has passed the final inspection, it will be packaged and shipped to a warehouse. From there, it will be shipped to a customer and eventually end up on someone's car or truck. That is how cast wheels are made. Let us know what wheels you have in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.